Welcome back everyone, and in case you're wondering what that image was at the beginning, that was an old magazine ad for Champ Man in its initial release. This was back when magazines would have ads obviously for all sorts of games, and it didn't seem to matter what the game's genre was, it would always have a scantily clad woman on it because, you know, young boys and all that. Also in closer inspection, you can see in the bottom left of that image that PC Zone has uh, rated CM0102 as a stone cold classic. But if you look at the quote, the King of Kings, I think Triple H might have something to say about that. Anyway, enough of that, you may be wondering what I've been doing back here. All I'm doing is making loan offers for players, giving 0% wages up front, because yeah, I'm an absolute cheapskate. And to be honest, this usually doesn't really work, because even if the club actually agrees to it, the player usually rejects the move to a third division side, so yeah, not much point, but you know, just no off chance that maybe one, maybe one will slip through the cracks and actually be stupid enough to join us. And with that, I present to you Stupid. Okay, he's not the best of players, but he's a left mid and decent enough stats for us. Also, I can't complain as he is completely free, so brilliant. I was tempted to actually make a bid for Phil Collins here, but I thought, hmm, he's not exactly the greatest footballer and an even worse singer. I will not be exposing you to the tedium that is friendly matches. Instead, I'm wanting to talk about the most important aspect, for me anyway, about pre-season, and that is the signing of an abundance of youth players in which to sell. I mentioned this in the last video, but I'll just show you the example here. So I got Tony Adams in, and with him being quite a handy wee scout, he's been recommending some players. I've just been signing anyone that is recommended uh, as a good or excellent prospect. Sign them up and transfer list them straight away and usually a load of clubs come in for them. I always accept at least one bid, whether that be a few thousand to like here 20,000. And then every other team that comes in, I will put their bid up to 100,000. I find this works around 70 to 80% of the time, a, a team will usually come back in with 100,000. And if there's even more teams coming in for your player, then I'll bump that into 250,000. Once a team comes in at 100,000 or more, you go into your transfer again of the player and cancel the lesser bids. After a couple of weeks, we have sold just the four players, but we've made 220,000 in doing so. This is obviously a lot of money to a club like East Stirling, but I'm still aiming to get at least, hmm, maybe five times the amount of that by December is possibly my aim. In between the wheeling and dealings of youth players and playing my friendlies, I was trying to fill my vacant assistant manager slot. Ray Houghton was rejecting every single one of my bids for some reason, even though I was bidding exactly what he wanted in wages and more, so I had to look elsewhere, and thankfully I did, as I stumbled upon Ericsson here, who is actually quite a tidy looking player and a pretty decent assistant manager, so yeah. Two for one, can't grumble. That's our pre-season friendlies finished, winning them all and conceding no goals, and we're coming up for our first game of the season, a League Cup first round game against the first division Ross County side. Ross County are obviously the favourites here, but I'm hoping for a lower League Cup upset, as I'm looking to get to at least the third round of the League Cup, just so as there's a chance that I can be drawn away to either of the old firm sides, Celtic or Rangers, because they are big money paydays, but we'll see how we get on. Eriksson makes his debut as well as gaining the captaincy. I'm assuming because he's easily our best player as well as most seasoned veteran, so hopefully he can make his mark on his debut. You will notice that there is no crowd noise. For some reason, I've got it selected in the game settings, but it's not working for me, so I'll just add generic crowd noise in the background right now. And I'll try and sync up goal sounds with actual goals. Ah, no rest for the wicked, eh? You'll notice also that I put it on medium setting for the commentary. I was just trying it out, uh, just to see how fast it goes, because I usually play at very fast. Uh, I'm just completely used to just breezing through games, so I'll adjust it to fast, as medium seems a wee bit too slow, to be honest. I think uh, this is an okay setting. 
For those that aren't used to it, it seems to be fast, but yeah, for those of us who's played a lot of Champman, yeah, you can pretty much, even though you're only getting half a second to a second to view this text, you kind of take it in. And so far I seem to be holding my own. And we've got a goal. David Wood scored in his debut. I did not sign him, so he must have been signed at the end of last season or something. So 1-0 up, not too shabby. Quite pleased actually how much possession we've got as well. And our goalkeeper's actually doing very well. Which is surprising because he's very poor, but don't let him hear me say that. And we're two up. Awesome. Yeah, this looks like it could actually be a resounding victory so far. I don't want to jinx it because it can turn around pretty quickly, but yeah, playing well. And thankful our goalkeeper's actually playing really well. So we've made it to half time, 2 0 up. Just checking on the boys' conditions, nobody really needs a change, so yeah, straight into the second half. I've noticed with this tactic before that, um, oh, off the bar, bastard. Uh, I've noticed with this tactic before that it doesn't really use up the players' conditioning uh, too much, so it doesn't really exert your players far too much which is always handy for a tactic, especially as my squad depth ain't that great. Oh, could have been a third. Yeah, so far, it's generally me battering Ross County. So, it just shows you really the effectiveness of the tactic, because this group of players, they're just they're really, really poor. I mean, I've only made two actual signings for the first team, and that's the, the left mid I've got on loan, and Eriksson, who's my player assistant manager. Oh, I thought that might have been the third. So yeah, the 73rd minute mark. I usually like to make make all subs between the 70th and 80th minute. So just a, some fresh legs. I don't have to worry too much. Uh, this version of getting injuries uh, to players, so I just like using all three subs really. I wouldn't dare do this in Football Manager 2015. Christ. I'll wait to the 85th minute before I make my third sub. Oh, oh, come on. Can we make it a good round number three? Come on. Oh no! Don't tell me we're going to come back into it. Oh, I hear it when it says that, surely no more uh, than just a consolation goal. <laughs> Screw you, commentator. Uh, oh, yes. Is it offside? Oh, it is offside. <laughs> I can hate that. That happens a lot in this game, but yeah. 2-1, two 2-1, one. Two one. we won 2-1, one. and yeah, statistically we were absolutely battering them. Awesome. So we're to, through to the next round, hopefully we'll get a slightly easier game actually. Although I'd be quite confident coming up against another first division side. That's our first competitive match out of the way and it was a fairly solid one. League Cup second round draw, again we can't face Celtic or Rangers so hopefully an easy, easy team and I'm um, away to Inverness Cali Thistle. Ah, brilliant. Ah well, we conquered, we conquered Ross County, I'm sure we can conquer uh, the Cali. 
don't worry folks in case you're wondering oh, are you going to watch every match like that no league matches uh probably for the first half of the season depending on how well i do i guess uh i will just put on very fast and slightly commentate through it cup matches i'll actually just do what i did there so yeah it won't take forever to get through the season don't worry this young right back's actually caught my eye. His stats aren't amazing, but mm, definitely I think good enough for the team. And considering my first choice right back is wanting to leave, uh, for to move to a bigger club or something, I don't know and don't really care to be honest. So I may as well just replace him with him and get rid of Brown Ferguson, my, my other first choice. Good selection of clubs interested straight away, so should be able to sell him on for about 100000 and sure enough, after some wheeling and dealing, I get a bid of 100,000 in. But before we can actually confirm and finalise his sale, we have the first league game of the season. So let's just get right into it with the exact same team as the cup game, except the new right back in. So we're up against Queen's Park. A team that actually plays its home games in Hamden Park, Scotland's national uh, park. Kind of strange, such a small team as well. We barely break a thousand uh, home crowd in a 50,000 seater stadium. And that's what I get for slag them because they've just taken the lead. <sighs> ah, not the best of starts. Thankfully I can get right back into it. So yeah, you'll be able to see, notice the, it's quite a noticeable difference between fast and very fast. You absolutely just fly through games and sometimes you can actually miss, like, you no, know, to make your subs, essentially, because it just goes by that fast. So yeah, you need to keep your eye on that. And they've just been given a pit. oh, he saved it! <laughs> Holy crap, he is playing really well and we have just scored Ericsson again getting on the score sheet. He looks like he might be some signing. So hopefully we'll be able to see this one out. Uh, just make some subs here, take Macaulay off since he's on a yellow and we'll do the same with Callahan. Can we make it a third? Possibly. Although I will just take 2-1 game, don't worry about that. Yeah, 2-1. So, first league game is a win. Kind of struggled with that right enough. Hmm, but a win's a win I guess. And our next game is against Inverness Cali Thistle. What? How did I not notice that I've got them in the Challenge Cup as well as the League Cup? Right. Okay, I need to make a few changes to the side because I'm a bit OCD when it comes to this game. Anybody that's kind of even 96 and 95%, even though they're more than fit to play in this game, I think I'll just swap them out, just to be on the safe side, because I don't care about the, the Challenge Cup. But this will be a good wee run out, a wee tester game, a wee taster even, um, for the League Cup game. So let's see how we go on. Even though, as I said, I don't really care too much about the game, I want to have a closer look as to how my team plays against them, so I set it to fast again. And, yeah, just take the lead, that's Carmichael, he's actually a reserve player. Not too bad, we seem to be actually playing quite well. Only 25 minutes gone right enough, but yeah. Dominating in chances it seems. And we've got our second goal. Gregor McKenzie. McKenny even. <laughs> McKenny eyeballs him. <laughs> so weird that you get a booking for eyeballing, not saying or actually doing anything. Very strange. Although you will notice in this game it sometimes comes up with two-footed challenges and it's just a booking. It's kind of funny. Yeah, I'm, I am giving them a doing so far. I'm only 2-0 up right enough, so not exactly safe yet. If 
Have they even had a shot on goal yet? Can we get a third? Come on. I absolutely hate those Cali Thistle colours. Same as Barcelona. Just, I don't know what it is. It does something to your eyes when you're viewing that text. So yeah, we'll make a sub actually, fairly early. Just because we can really, and he was on a booking. He was eyeballing people. So far, I still see them have a shot on goal. Is this maybe one? Yeah, we finally got a shot on goal. This is all so far make me very very comfortable for the League Cup game. Although it makes me think that they might up their game for that game. Game, game, game. I think the woodwork. Oh, their, their colours are... I can't be the only one. It gets, like, I don't know what it is, it's what, when you see that text, that font colour on that blue background, it's, it feels as if I've, I'm like looking at a 3D picture without 3D glasses. So I think I'll just shut my eyes when we play them next. Yeah, it's just all, all we stubbing and we've got our third. Good. Awesome. Proven to be quite a good wee goal scorer, him. So just make changes again, just take the guy on a yellow off and... Hmm. Yeah, Macaulay can come off. Almost a fourth. And we've got our fourth. Jesus Christ. 4 0. I mean, even if Cali Thistle played a week inside, this is still a really good result. Who knows? Might even actually have a wee bit of interest in the Challenge Cup and try and win it. And that should be just about it. Come on, ref. End the game. Put them out of their misery. There we go. Yep, very, very happy with that. Look at that. Battered them. They only had one shot and goal. Now we can actually finalise the sale of Brown Ferguson. Nice 100,000 added to the kitty. And we also get another First Division side in the Challenge Cup. This time we're at home, however, and the way we've been playing... I fully expect us to beat them, to be honest, but you never know. So that wraps it up for this episode. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a wee like. Feel free to comment in the comment below. And if you want to see more from me on Championship Manager, let me know. And also, I'll be subscribed would be lovely. Thanks very much. Bye!